But it's your favorite nobody from Canada here, and I know what you're thinking. I thought you were moving. I am still moving. As you can see, a lot of my systems are packed up. My room's a bloody mess because I'm slowly packing up everything. But today, I found something very interesting at Value Village today. Um, literally in this baggie, for one ninety nine Canadian, I had found this. As you can see, the Surface Scratch Remover Kit for CDs and CD-ROMs. They don't make this stuff anymore. So, and what's really interesting is that this is 21 years old. Focus. I'm not sure if you guys can see this, because my camera is being a piece of crap. As you can see, that got diddly dang it, 1997, so this is 21 years old, and there it is right here, so what comes included with this kit is the CD cleaning fluid, just like in this package over here, and there's a bunch more, same CD cleaning, so this one's called spray cleaner because it isn't a dab cleaner like this one is. This is a splay cleaner, basically the same thing. And yes, I found three more of the same ones, still factory sealed. Which is, you know, pretty cool. This one was a little more expensive because it's three, two ninety nine. Came to about five sixty it came to exactly five sixty five after taxes. Uh so this is the uh, cleaning fluid after which. So that's step two. Step one is using this. Remember, this is 21 years old. So my idea is, well, does this still work 20 years later? Now, next thing I should point out, not all scratches can be removed. This product will appear, will not uh, re repair major surface scratches. So that's something to note. If your CD is skipping, this will not repair it. It isn't a miracle fix. That's what resurfacing machines are for. And yes, they're much more expensive, but, you know. So as you can see, I have tested this CD. It does not skip, but as you can see, it's pretty scratched up. So, let's deal with that. Now, supposedly, from the instructions on the back of the package here, we use the... Not, that's the cleaning fluid. Uh, we use this, and we put about four dabs the paste. So, come on. So hard to do one-handed. Oh, oh god. That was a bad aim. This is very hard to do with the camera. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. That's a ew color, too. I'm not sure if that looked like that back in the day, but I'm assuming because it's 21 years old, it's probably aged a bit. So let's take this Q-tip here. Obviously yellowed over age. Again, this is factory sealed. Oh boy. What have I done? Now you spread it across. Not going in circles. I'm gonna spread this across. I'm gonna cut the video. I'm gonna spread this across, and then... Yeah. Oh, this that squirt I had done a little off center there. Uh, let that sit for a little bit, and then we're gonna close this like so, and then we're gonna grab the CD cleaning fluid here. I'm gonna put a couple dabs on the cloth here, just a few. So as you can see. Got a little bit of damp area there. Did you guys see that? See, it's a little bit damp. You know what? Oh! That literally went on my pants. Hopefully that's not, doesn't like, have any like, bleach fluorescent. So that's a really damp cloth now. This can't, comes with the package. Oh boy. Um, and now, we're just gonna, oh, it's so hard to do, one handed. Did not think this through. Now I'm just gonna wipe away that. I'm gonna wipe wipe away this surface and then 
I am going to cut the video because this is way too hard doing this one-handed. I'm going to wipe away this surface and I'm going to see if it worked. If it removed any scratches at all. I'll be back. Unfortunately, probably because it's 21 years old, it didn't do... I can't tell. I don't know if it's supposed to fix the scratches or what. But yeah, as you can see, it still has those scratches. Then again, this is 21 years old, so I don't know what I was expecting, but if you guys enjoyed this video, please do leave a like, it would be greatly appreciated. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button so you can join the Powerhouse Nation today. And until next time, this is your favorite nobody from Canada, Powerhouse1996, signing out.